What you think? I know who I am. And if a person have to choose between me and somebody else, choose the other person. <laughs> if that's where it got to go to, I want you to choose the other person. No. Yeah, so why are you here? Little blah, Sponsored today by McCoy's Thai Chris. So give me a second. You got that Van Diesel. You know, most days my voice is Van Petrol. Boom, I'm not gonna waste no time. Let's get straight into this. Guys, episode eight was a madness. And secondly, sorry for being late. I had hosting events. But guys, let's get into the video. I wanna talk about Mike, Shateva, and Shay, okay? Because it's got me hooked. Okay, first thing I wanna say is, Mike, yeah, is an Adonis, cuz. I hate Mike, but I love him. Oh, uh <laughs> See that laugh? That's the laugh you gotta have in that room. Your team just gotta. <laughs> ah. Man, yeah, has got all the arsonary, arsonary, has got all the weaponry in the world, cuz. Man's good looking, man's hench, man's commanding. Man plays the piano and sings. Okay. I mean, what doesn't the guy do, bruv? He's a Casanova, -y boy. Um. But I wanted to just talk about obviously Mike Shay and Shatava because I, I knew you guys saw the ending, it, was, it blew up in it. If you don't want to get to that point, you eliminate yourself. Then I have no problem with that. But let's let's just go back. Um, I told you in the last video about the fact that Mike here's behavior here, in the sense that he's shifted Shay from her position, needs to act accordingly. I'm sorry, I know this is a dating show, but you have to understand, you asking a woman to do something on that magnitude, and then you behave as if you're not exclusive, you are exclusive. The moment you ask a woman to move, or a man to move uh, from a position, a mindset, a certain thought, um, which they're concrete in, and you ask them to unconcrete that thought and shift to your side, you better believe that you're now exclusive. Because the baby situation. Okay, and what about the baby situation? Um, I mean, it came off as it was almost like you kind of like shutting down on that. Um, I got a key. It seems like there's a concern about my womb, so. Yeah. You wanna talk about it? Yeah, let's, do, let's, let's hear the reservation. My son just turned 18. So, to start from square one again, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's me risking it all. Like, I really have to trust you and really submit and be vulnerable to you. I want to see how you are in every scenario. Because whatever behavior you're about to present is about to show the other person what you're really about. And this is what Shay even said. I want to see Mike when he mad, when he's sad, when things aren't going his way. I need to see all of that for me to be comfortable with me putting my heart in your hands. You understand? So. For me, that argument at the very end, I totally understood Shay's perspective. But before I get into that vid that part of the video, because there's a lot of things that happened in between that, which we're gonna have to point out. Cool. So one thing I noticed is that the girls are definitely on Shay's side. Okay, let's just go to point one. Point one was when Shateva and Mike were in the water. I want to ask this question: Why did suddenly I don't know who said it? It might have been it might have been um, Ashley saying, Mike, come over here and come and get this neck bracelet or whatever that's fallen into the water. Hey, Michael Anthony! Hey, uh, what is it? I need your help. Okay. What? We was learning how to swim, <laughs> ma'am. I'm sorry, but my Conway shell fell. Hey, me my God. Hey, down at the bottom. I had nothing to do with Mike. But the girls were acting in accordance and in a group. And this is obviously a dating game, and I think... Partly, this is something that would happen slightly in real life in the sense that the friends would have an influence on decision making in terms of two people getting together. But, I mean, these girls really put their, their hand into the pot and stirred, you know, because Shatava was having a good one-on-one -on -one time with Mike. Yeah, <laughs> That's what I do. Oh, what uh, wrong legs. He was trying to teach me how to swim in the pool. We were really having a good time. As she should do. Um, just trying to develop a little bit of personal time. And the girls conspired against her. I know the girls. I know the girls don't rate her. I know the girls are not on her side. They were Shay, and that's just to do with the dynamics of how the girls have gelled and bonded. You get me? So Tava was a little bit more less emotional. I would say uh, a bit more colder, a bit more. I don't want to say. I'm, I'm not going to say masculine. I'm going to say a bit more reserved and withheld in terms of her emotion maybe her thought hasn't really gelled well with the group and so therefore the girls are automatically going to be on Shay's side um secondly um i want to point out i'm going to go further before then 
Uh, the way Mike ha uh, hugged Tiffany was. Cameras right here. Wow. You come in comfortable. I'm not up for it, Angel. Tiffany told me she went on a date with Mike. That's cute. Getting me. Obviously, we know what happens after. But the way that Mike hugged Tiffany was c kind of funny because um, when Mike, when Ash, when Alex tried to then hug um, Tiffany. <laughs> What are you cooking? Girl, they got me stuck in here with this damn chicken. Well, the only season is that we have. It smells good. I ain't get no hug. I ain't get no help. I ain't get no hug. Whatever. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You looking at your phone? Nah. How you doing? I'm good. Um, Tiffany wasn't so receptive. One, though, th 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 to make that point, Alex didn't try to hug her straight away. Um, I can understand why, because there was a bit of awkwardness. They hadn't spoken some, since last time. Um, there was a bit of a grey area, a bit of a cloud on top of both of them, right? So rather than actually addressing it, though, he decides to ignore it, and then obviously Tiffany brings it up. These are two people who actually genuinely love each other. And so, sorry, I shouldn't say love, like each other. And so obviously Alex wasn't sure how he was going to deal with the situation, but you saw how Mike did it. Mike was easy flowing going. My God. Man stepped in there, gave it a nice roundhouse hug, made sure she knew what time it is. You get me? But all of it, again, is not for them too. It is for the other people that they are liking. For Shay and also for Alex. The two, the them two hugging, it was never for them. And in fact, Mike actually admits that. Let's be real, y'all. Me and Tiffany, we don't belong together. We both went on a date because we were both annoyed with somebody. We both went on a date because we were both annoyed with somebody. We both went on a date because we were both annoyed with somebody. When I said to you about the mixer, some of you were saying, oh, no, nah, Mike wasn't thinking that. Mike was definitely thinking that, cuz. Listen, people are conniving out here, and that's the truth of the matter. That's manipulation. You, uh, like, something that God was talking to me about, I'm a Christian, so I'm just going to put it out there, um, that a lot of our behaviours are manipulative. And what Mike did in the mixer was manipulative. He intentionally played with Tiffany to make sure that Shay would see that and get jealous. Because he wants a final goal. And Tiffany so, so did the same thing, do you get me? It's all part and parcel of the game, but it's manipulation and truth. And so when you see them now in the house, the hug is more of a case like we, 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 we have an understanding, do you get me? And so Mike actually has ended the game. When a man stresses out about a woman, that means he cares about her. This is my guy. I'm stepping back. I, I think Tiffany even sensed Mike has ended the game because she was more focused on Alex. Or I should say, Alex was more focused on her, which is where you want to look at it. But Mike put it out there and said, straight, listen, we already knew what time it was. We knew what we were trying to do. Ra -da -ra -da -ra -da -da. It's not really going to go anywhere. Plus, also, Mike then decided to, you know, quit himself in the race by saying that, obviously, he saw how Alex was acting. You knew how Alex was acting, Mike. Don't try to guess it. One thing I want to say is this. Mike knew exactly how Alex felt about Tiffany well before then. Don't try to play it off now. Uh, Mike, that you said for now you've seen your man and you know how much he feels for her. That now you now you want to respect it. Don't 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 do that. Don't do that. You already showed your your true colours, cause you used it. It's simple as that, bro. And you had no care or qualms about your boy then. Why are you having a qualms about your boy now? Cause you've done used her already, and now you can't use her in this setting because it's too close quarters. A person says you shouldn't do do in that in the place where you stay, and that's what you clocked. I can't do do in a place that I stay. You get me? Oh my God, I'm getting deep into this thing, you get me? Um, but I want to say, I want to show you something that he did. He, when he came into the house first of all, he said, listen girls, I have a present for you. Remember, remember, he's dating, he's trying to date Shay. I want you to, I want you to see this. He's trying to date Shay, but he said, girls, I've got, I, I was going to bring you a present, but then I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to play the piano. Hey ladies, I was going to bring y'all a gift. But what happened? But I ain't had time to stop and get one. So, what you So doing? I'm about to make one right now. Uh this is all about solidifying his status as Adonis, as, as top dog, as alpha male. Because really and truly, Mike is like an alpha male top dog fam. Like he's, I would say his groom price went up. Like when he started playing the piano. That's one of them piano things that you push the button and it play itself. No, he's really playing. He really is playing. Yeah. You didn't know that, did you? No. You didn't know. Not a present that was a signal to let the other girls know listen i'm an adonis i'm a top specimen because you have to understand how females also work women like men who are powerful and they find them more attractive when they are wanted by other women too i know some girls are going to say oh it's a turn off it's a turn off yeah but it's a turn off because you feel like you're competing it's not a turn off because you don't find him attractive it's a turn off because you feel like you're going to compete and lose be honest listen it's not a it's not a beef 
He showed himself to be a top dog. He started playing the piano. He knew exactly what he was doing. And again, again, it's, I don't say it's a form of manipulation. He's just got an extroverted personality. He knows how to use that to his advantage because all the girls flock to him. All the girls flock to him. That's one of them piano things that you push the button and it play itself. No, he's really playing. He really is playing. Yeah. You didn't know that, did you? No. You didn't know. He didn't play that when Alex and Aaron were in the room. He played that when none of them were in the room, and just the girls. He knew exactly what he was doing. I was going to say this in another video, but the last episode when Shateva and Michael were sitting down playing tennis, right? I'm not giving my all to you. You were giving my all. Yes. All includes the emotional side. You have to reveal it. My initial attraction with Shateva was physical. I'll be honest, but let me tell you something, ladies. Men, you know, you can't keep us with the physical. Um, after that, Michael was saying, you know, you gotta be more op you gotta be more emotionally available and on it, um, open to me. And I was saying to myself, no, you don't, darling. This is the wrong person to be open and honest to, because on in on on, a, on a honest level, you ain't got a chance of him. Not because you ain't good looking, not because of anything, but because his mind is already made up. And a man's mind that's made up can't be changed by another woman like that. In the sense of dating you, he can make his mind up to sex you to have an affair with you but more than likely he ain't gonna what date you and stay long with you and so what mike's already set on shade it's it's, it's, it's written in stone so the shateva i'm like shatava shateva whatever <laughs> um she shouldn't open how long ago she shouldn't open up because it's gonna cause more trouble for her and i was gonna say that in the last video and i didn't i was like nah let me just leave it but now we're in a pinnacle position where now she said quite clearly her mom, her grandma's got cancer and you know, she expected Mike to be there. Anything from you is something that's really hurtful because I just found out my grandmother had cancer. First of all, don't expect Mike to do anything. Never had anybody close to me die. So I don't know how to handle this situation. You know, I just would expect you to just check on me. Uh, 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 um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because you have to deep it, yeah? You and Mike haven't developed that connection, number one. Number two, you're going to use your grandma as leverage. I know it sounds peak and it's like, whoa, like, that's someone's grandma, you know? She was suffering emotionally. No, but part of that reason why she wanted to tell Mike is leverage. It's use of leverage to make the person care about you. Again, it's a form of type of manipulation. I know it sounds mad, but trust me, human beings are like this. In the back of her mind, she's used part of, not all of it, but part of her mind was thinking, I'm gonna tell him about my grandma to make him care about me more. It's not gonna work. Do you know why it's not gonna work? Because he doesn't care already. So if he doesn't care already, he's not gonna start caring now. He will care that you're in a position, but it's not gonna make him care about the way that you want him to care, which is he want to, to that he wants you. It's not gonna happen. You may get him for the next week, next two months, next three months, next year, a year talking to you about the issue, but never committing to you. So for me, it was like when she dropped that, I understood why she dropped it, and actually you can't really win, can't really lose by doing anything either or. But when she dropped it, I was like, mm, you're gonna cause him to, you're gonna cause a guilty reaction out of him, and not a genuine reaction. Do you see what I'm saying? You see, that should have come out of a, a honest conversation that you lot were talking, and he drove you to then speak about the issue because you were having a heart to heart. But Shatera just dropped it. You understand? Just dropped it. You know, I expected you to be there. My grandma's going through this, da, 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 and I was like, no, Shatera, no, no, darling, that's not the right time. No, 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 no. That's not cute. He ain't gonna feel you that way. Trust me. I know that obviously his mom went through cancer and everything like that. He will care for you in that way, but it's not going to make him care for you in the way you want. Two, I want to point this out. I, 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 want, to say, I want to give Stormy the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. Right now she's at 95 pounds, so they don't feel comfortable doing chemo on her. Is this something going on? Where everybody at? But let's say I don't give it a benefit of the doubt, just for the case of this video. Stormy was snaky. Simple as. I'm sorry, you heard the conversation. You heard her say, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, my grandma's got cancer. And then you stepped out the room. Okay, when you step out the room, 
Why did you not go and tell the girls, oh look, the reason why the door's locked is because they're having a very heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Chitabu was in a room with Mike with the door locked. I was like, y'all sorry I want me to be in here? I was like, y'all sorry I want me to be in here? I was like, y'all sorry I want me to be in here? I was like, y'all sorry I want me to be in here? And she mentioned, don't even say her grandma, just say, listen, uh, something happened deep in her, in her family that she's going through. Um, that's why they're talking on the, on the thing. But it didn't look like you mentioned that because of maybe the way they cut it. But I'm just saying, didn't look like you mentioned that. And also, you were almost inciting as well. Um, a slight uh, thing with Shay as well when she was saying her piece. And rather than saying, listen, girl, calm down. It's not what it looks like. Now. Why are you so serious? Now. Why are you so serious? Now. Why are you so serious? I'm over it, Paul. Your snake for that. No simple fact. Stormy, I think you're cool, but that was snaky, bruv. And it's caused an, it's gonna it's caused an um a beef between Shay and Mike unnecessarily because the reason why Shay is hot is because she saw Shateva and Mike in the room and the door's locked. Somebody about to get their ass straight now. And I believe the door was locked because nobody they didn't want them to interrupt that particular conversation. Well, if they did anything, it's up to them. But I'm just saying from what we saw. And so Shay was hot. Understandably, I'm telling you this now, if I feel like I'm dating you or I feel like I like you, yeah, and I see you in the room with someone else, lock the door, fam, I'm gonna be vexed because I do not have all the information. How do we expect Shay to behave accordingly when fam, at the end of the day, how long got? At the end of the day, yeah, the information that's been presented is false. Do you get me? And 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 and, and then and then obviously they must have been discussing it because then Aaron says, obviously, Mike, how would you do this? And I don't know if that was forced by the team. Or whether this was a genuine conversation. Either way, that's a conversation that got brought up. So, Mike, just to catch you up to speed, the question is, if they was in our shoes, how would they handle it if there was two people that they really, really were into? If you was, let's just be specific, mm -hmm. Shay. You're asking Mike about whether what he would do with the situation. Of course Shay's going to come hot. Of course Shay's going to come hot. Do you get me? I would come hot too. You understand? No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie to rest. I'm going to come with a fire. And so, understandably, Shay was pissed off. It's, it's understandable. Um, and, uh, you know, the two of them, uh, just as they said in the other episode, they butt heads. And the reason why they butt heads is because they're both fire. But in this scenario, in this scenario, um, what Shay said is so vital to the whole process. Ladies, can I say this? If a man has to choose between you and another woman, you always back out. You handle it. How is he gonna handle it? It ain't how would you handle it. How is he gonna handle it? Shay, what you think? I know who I am. And if a person have to choose between me and somebody else, choose the other person. If that's where it gotta go to, I want you to choose the other person. Never, ever, ever, ever present yourself as choose me or her. Never. Unless it's his mum. Never choose, never, never have that. Do you know why? Because at the end of the day, if he wanted you 100, he'd never have to choose. Let me tell you something. If I like a girl, and I, I think the other girl's cool, and I may be playing with the other girl, I already know who I genuinely like. I don't need to make a choice. I've already made a choice. So if you see me funking around, ladies, the power's in your hand to walk away. Don't even open your mouth and say make a choice. Walk away. You see, when women begin to talk, that's when we twist you up. When you begin to talk, that's when we twist you up. Look, ask Eve in the garden. If she has shut her mouth and not said anything, this is not being sexist, this is being wrong, and not said anything, the Satan would have had nothing to say to her because she would have kept quiet. And just, mm, I'm, you can talk what you want, but I'm not responding. And when you, when you do that to somebody, you nuke all the power from the man. But when you begin speaking, we begin to pick holes in what you said because you're speaking from a place of emotion. Shay was speaking from a place of emotion. How long you got? She was speaking from a place of so much emotion that she actually came up with an ultimatum. If that's where it gotta go to, I want you to choose the other person. No! Yeah, so why are you here? See, and, and uh, well, she forced the ultimatum out of, um, out of Mike because the pride was also in him. And they're talking in front of everybody else. I think if this conversation was had behind the scenes, this would have never got to the stage it did. But his pride, her pride, she was like, she had her girls around her, she's not gonna look stupid. He's got boys around her, he's not gonna look stupid, you know. So, in the end, you saw that the fact that these two butted heads, right, which is what Alex Stevens said, they butted heads. And so, inevitably, an ultimatum comes, then why are you here? Why, why are you here? And let me tell you something, um, Mike said that out of pride. He ain't mean that. Let me tell you something, he ain't mean that, cause let me tell you something, he ain't 
mean that. But you have to say that out of pride. Do you get me? As a man, we have a lot of pride and ego and we don't like being tested. And that's why he read his ugly head. He felt like he was being tested. I ain't that, I ain't that guy. First of all, I never addressed you like a sucker. You talking never, to you like a sucker though. Never have addressed don't you like, me like that, Shay. Confronting me and challenging me in front of people would never work for me, ever. No, 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 no. In front of everybody and his manhood because the way that Shay approached him, if you heard what he said. And I feel like if they had to this behind closed doors, this never happening. Do you get me? But emotions are raging and Shay does not feel comfortable anymore. Her confidence has now been shocked. Why? Because we had a Tiffany situation and now we have the Shateva situation. Her confidence in her and Mike has been shocked. It's done. And when this woman, her confidence is shot, I believe she has the strength to walk away if she needs to. And we see that she walks away. Uh, whether she'll come back, we don't know. Whether she makes him eat his words, we don't know. Next time on Ready to Love. Give me a hug, why? I'm going to make you eat them words. Shatava said something like, I don't know what she said, which, it just pissed me off when she said it. I was just like, Shatava, you're not even in the run-in. Darling, if you could open your eyes and keep your mouth shut, you might see some things. But you're not. And you're here talking about someone else getting, getting, else, someone else getting smoked. My darling, focus on you. How long you got? Focus on you. If I was Shay and if I knew that what me and Mike had was solid, I wouldn't worry about him being in a room with somebody else. But if Shay pointed out and said, obviously, look, Mike has been indecisive. He's sitting on the fence kind of thing. He's, not, he's doing everything not to make a decision. And I want to just say this, ladies, if a man is indecisive about who he wants to choose, I say it again, bounce. Listen. There are many men out there that will love you. And the reason why you're around is because you think you're getting the best deal possible. But the best deal possible is actually ripping you off. And so you need to know that, listen, your value, your worth is not in him taking time to think how many free girls I've got to choose from. No, if you're part of the free, bounce. You understand? Anyway, listen, little black book. You already know what time it is. Guys, like, share, subscribe. You already know. I was going to sing, but my voice don't know. Safe, innit?